It's been cloudy, it's been gloomy, and usually we talk about this kind of weather moving out in a day or two, but this has been pretty persistent. And what may surprise you is that these clouds are a part of the same storm system that brought us that loud round of thunderstorms from last Friday morning, almost five days ago. How is that possible? Well, it's what we call a cutoff low pressure system. The spin of clouds and storms you see across the southeast United States today, well, that's been stuck in pretty much the same spot over the past three or four days, and it's kept the clouds stuck in place across the Midwest too. So what's keeping the storm stuck there? Well, there's actually a few factors to take into play. High pressure across New England and the remnants of what was Tropical Storm Arthur. These two systems have acted somewhat like a roadblock or a traffic jam, preventing that storm from moving east into the Atlantic Ocean. That ridge of high pressure has also forced the jet stream well off to the north, which has essentially cut off the low from the main flow of the atmosphere. That's how it gets that name cut off low. The position of this cutoff low is also perfect for pulling in moisture from the Atlantic Ocean. That's what's feeding the cloud cover directly over top mid-Missouri. So what will need to happen for us to get sunny again? I know it sounds counterintuitive, but it's going to be the storms that we see this weekend. The low pressure system that will be associated with the stormy weather Friday through Sunday will pull the jet stream far enough south to scoop up the gloomy cutoff low and get it out of the area. Safe to say, based on how 2020 has gone in general, I think we could all use a little bit more sunshine. Here's some file video if you've forgotten what that looked like. Reporting for the Stormtrack weather team, I'm meteorologist Luke Victor.